Hi everybody, it's Red Illegal here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, finally got back round to booking some World of Sport Wrestling Revival. I wasn't sure whether I was going to give up on this series, but I kind of woke up this morning and I just thought, you know what, no, let's let's just try and keep it going. I started sort of booking it a little bit differently to the WCW series. I was sort of really planning ahead and everything, each and every individual show. And I'm not doing that, that with the WCW one, but... I think the WCW one's just working out a hell of a lot better. So I was just like, oh, I don't know. But I thought, no, let's give it a go. Um, before I go any further as well, I uh, my voice, I, you might notice a difference in my voice today. I was at a football match yesterday at Wembley. Um, those of you who might know anything about football um, in England, uh, Crawley Town, my local club, wouldn't say it's the team I support as such, but it's my local club, um, won a game at Wembley, which means they get promoted. And my voice has gone a little bit, so yeah. But let's get through this. If you can remember, I don't know if, how much you can remember from the previous episodes. You might need to go back and have a look. I did. Um, but Kurt Angle has uh, sort of come in as our um, shareholder. We needed some uh, sort of uh, a boost in star power, I guess, really. But I only got a 44 on this one. Uh, I don't know whether that's related to the guys he's talking to, or talking about, I should say. But basically, he just comes out to open the show and announce tonight's main event, which will be James Drake against Greg Burridge. Yeah, racing 44. We kick off the ring action with Harry Smith against uh, Mikey Whiplash. Decent wrestling, a little heat. Harry Smith defeated Mikey Whiplash in 4 minutes 38 by pinfall with a bulldog bomb. Yeah, 32, a little bit disappointing. Uh, our road agents are pretty awful. We're always going to get that note, really, pretty much on every match. Um, we, the roster is very, very unimportant heavy. We don't have, we don't have any stars. We don't have any major stars. We've got like two well-knowns and like three or four recognizable, or that might be the other way around, whatever, but everyone else is unimportant. So we are kind of, um, struggling a little bit. Um, but it's all about getting people over. So yeah, we're trying to get, um, Harry Smith over a little bit. Mikey Whiplash is at that kind of age where he's not really, not really going to push him. So yeah, I went with this one. Post-match, Cyanide comes out and he attacks Harry Smith and Mikey Whiplash. At the moment, um, we've had Cyanide come in and he's basically, that's all he does. He comes in and he just destroys people. Just destroys people, leaves them laying out flat out. Um, Wild Boar comes out though and he tries to get his um, two penneth worth on Cyanide, but he just gets destroyed as well. So last week we had Harry Smith against Wild Boar and Cyanide came out and attacked them both. So Wild Boar may be trying to look at some sort of little bit of revenge, but doesn't get it. All three guys are flat out as Cyanide just, you know, looking all menacing and everything. Rating of 23, though, pretty awful, although there is some green. Lewis Gervin takes on Mustafa Ali. Much better match, 46. Decent wrestling, uh, but didn't have much heat. Lewis Gervin drew with Mustafa Ali in 15 minutes when the time limit expired. So I've introduced this rule in uh, World of Sport where every match has a 15 minute time limit and less stated otherwise. You know, we're gonna have some pretty big matches eventually when we've actually got some stars. We might have some bigger matches that go on a little bit longer, but yeah, I've introduced this time limit and haven't really used it. So yeah, we're, we're gonna start using it a little bit. I know you don't get a clean winner, but it gives the opportunity for people to get rematches and stuff like that. So yeah, rating of 46. Kurt Angle then talks to Eric Redbeard. This was just to get uh, sort of Kurt Angle on the card again, really. Again, just get that little bit of star power. And he just discusses, you know, how, how do you feel after coming into World of Sport Wrestling? How are you finding it? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, there really isn't much to say about this. There's no storyline. There's nothing. There's no um, consequences to this angle. It really is just to get Kurt Angle back on the card. And we just decide that he talked talk to Eric Redbeard. Eric Redbeard wasn't on the card. He is one of our well-known, so it kind of makes sense to get him on there somewhere. But yeah, rating of 52. Chris Renfrew talks to Nathan Cruz backstage and he says, look, let me deal with Super Santos Jr. Let me deal with him. I think I can convince him to give you your money back, but I'm going to have to give something in return. I'm going to have to give him some sort of match, but let me deal with it. Let me worry about it. I know Super Santos a little bit. You know, he can be a bit, yeah, whatever, but I think I can convince him to sort of uh, come to some sort of agreement. Rating of 32. And then we've got BT Gunn take on Jack Gallagher. Jack Gallagher making his debut. Uh, rating of 32. Uh, terrible wrestling and non-existent crowd heat. But Gallagher got the win in 10 minutes 15 by submission. 
So, yeah, just another signing, really. He's well-known as well, so, you know, slightly more popular than most of our guys uh, wanted to sort of sign him. He's English as well, so, you know, he's not another one of this part of the uh, foreign invasion. So, yeah, that's uh, it kind of makes sense. We got uh, his gimmick change, and so, yes, a gentleman gimmick rating of great. Yeah, well, he's not going to be taking part in any comedy shows or comedy matches. Joanna Rose then interviews Lee Hunter and Jim Hunter, kind of known as just the Hunters or the Hunter Brothers. But they are announcing that they are becoming tag team exclusive. They will not feature in solo matches. They are tag team. They want to be tag team. They're looking to become you know, the first tag team champions. And that's all this angle does, really. We're establishing a firm tag team. We've also put the other guys um, that we've had sort of had team in. Uh, Tyson T-Bone with Styx and Mark Haskins and Joel Ridman. We've put them in game as a tag team, only as individuals. But but yeah, let, let's try and sort of really drum up a bit, a bit of a tag team division, even if they're made up as individuals. But the Hunters are, um, they're, they're announcing here that they are exclusively tag team. Rating is 25 though, another poor one. Joseph Connors and Martin Kirby take on the Thrillers. This is one of the other tag teams I was talking about, Joel Redman and Mark Haskins. Now, I didn't realise these two were obviously a tag team. I went to add the team and I put them together as an auto name and it came out with the Thrillers. And I thought, hang on, doesn't auto name usually give you like, you know, say like Redman and Haskins or something like that? Turns out they were a team, so it's come up as the Thrillers. But rating 46, pretty decent. And it says here, had decent wrestling with little heat. The Thrillers defeated Joseph Connors and Martin Kirby in 9 minutes 19 when Haskins pinned Joseph Connors. Uh, Mark Haskins carried the match. Yeah, rating of 46. And then we've got Chris Renfrew being interviewed by John Robertson. And Chris Renfrew makes a challenge here to Super Santos. I'm challenging you to a $5,000 match. I know how you like your money because you've already cheated someone out of some money. But do you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I am going to put up both sides of the money. I'm going to put up both halves of 2500 Let's face each other. For that money but i want you to be honest with me that's a rating of 22 and then it's our main event greg burridge and james drake didn't really know what else to go with i mean obviously we've got to have one of our well-known guys in the main event and i just went with burridge uh, why not rating of 39 decent reaction from the crowd subpar wrestling james drake defeated greg burridge in 13 minutes 50 by pinfall with a 450 splash. So yeah, nothing much to say about this this match in particular. It's just the match I decided to put on until we get a sort of a clear view of you know some major stars, stars, well known. Until we get you know a, the majority of our unimportant people up the card, you know we're just going to be throwing matches together really. But post match, Roy Knight decides to come down and attack James Drake. So uh, Roy Knight is kind of a little bit miffed as to why he wasn't sort of in that contention for the world title. And he's a bit annoyed. So he's attacking James Drake here. But then Joe Hendry, who we had on commentary, and again, I'm annoyed why it doesn't give you the note here. But we had Joe Hendry on commentary for that for that match, and he decides to take off his headset, get involved, and so there's a sort of three-way brawl as we go off the air, rating of 30. What do we get overall? 38. Without looking back at the other shows, I don't know how well that's done, but I think I think that's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, increasing our popularity in two regions. Still don't have enough decent storylines, but again, that's down to pop. That's down to the lack of stars. 